Okay, I understand this is not gonna be well received by some people, but in my opinion, six screw gas blocks are gay and I would not run them on my guns. In this case, this is a Geisley and it has their bomb proof installation where you drill through a pilot hole with a slightly larger bit. It's a McMaster car recommended bit. And then you pin it. And then you have it uh, permanently installed and then it's not going anywhere. I use these set screws to align and hold the gas block in place. Then I put it in my drill press, drill and pin it. And this fits perfectly under this Midwest industry rail. This barrel is a ballistic advantage. It's a mid-length gas. You can see the difference in the gas block location. I'm gonna use this for a Colt combat unit carbine clone. It comes pre-drilled, so you can lock it in place with the set screws and then put the pin in. I'm not gonna run any gas block or front sight block that's not pinned on my guns. I mean, people can do it however they want, but if it's not drilled and pinned, I don't want it. I also notice how thick and beefy the bottom of this gas block is, so the screws are getting good bites to hold it in place for drilling. Now, let's take a look at this Centurion Arms. This Centurion Arms gas block, I drilled a pinhole so it can be pinned on. The six screws on this is unbelievable. Take a look. Take a look if you can see how short they are, like two threads. And people are putting this on their guns and holding it down on with just two little set screws with two threads and hoping that a little Loctite and a dimple is going to hold in place. There is no way I would run this gas block without drilling and pinning it. It does not come pre-drilled from the factory. You have to do it yourself. I will not run set screw only gas blocks on any of my guns. Everything has to be pinned. And these guys, are perfect.